right, here is the video review for a cool one that showed up the other day. Here is uh, TFC Toys STC-01B Jungle Version ST Commander, a.k.a. Rolling Thunder Optimus Prime. Uh, they did a couple different versions of this one, both color-wise and design-wise. Uh, there is this version here in a sta more standard red and blue Optimus color scheme. I might pick that one up if I can get my hands on it. It was sold out. This one did came, just came back in stock. Grabbed one, too. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, I, I, this is one that looked interesting. There was an X over gen or crossover gen. I'm not entirely sure how they say how they want that name pronounced. But uh, there was a previous version of this that was eh, okay, but didn't really wow anybody. I think there were low expectations for this one when it was first announced, and it ended up being a really fantastic toy. Uh, spoiler alert. Um, so yeah, but I was I was wanted it, but never quite pulled the trigger. And then it was out of stock for a long time. Um, and then it just recently came back in stock, this version of it. They did do a nuclear blast version that instead of these smaller missiles has like a giant nuclear missile, like one giant silo on it. But uh, I'm, I'm going to pass on that one. It's because it's also in camo colors. But when they announced, it's ba this is based off of a Don Figueroa design having Optimus turn into the old G.I. Joe Rolling Thunder vehicle. And you'll see the similarities to the old G.I. Joe toy um, if you're familiar with it. But uh, there was also a design for a Megatron based off of Destro's Dominator that they're making into a toy. And as soon as they announced that and I saw it, um, I was like, I got to get my hands on that. And it finally came in. Now, I hope, I'm sure we'll see a standard, and I can see the mold looking really nice. Uh, we'll see that Megatron in a standard, you know, silver and gunmetal Megatron. But I'm, I ended up getting this version of the Rolling Thunder because, one, if it's going to be the crossover with the G.I. Joe vehicle, I want it to be the G.I. Joe vehicle. And also, the idea of a red and black and gold version of that Dominator Megatron I can already picture it in my brain, and it seems pretty fantastic. And so if I'm going to get the G.I. Joe version colors, I've got to get the G.I. Joe version colors here as well. Anyway, preamble aside, here he is. Uh, he comes with a little roller that can carry his rifle. And actually, yeah, this is not 100% correct, this little wire right here. And there is, um, if you look close at this, there is, like, the top edges are rounded. There is a specific way. It's subtle. That this is supposed to plug into here, but you can. This is kind of a soft rubbery plastic, and you can plug it into the back of roller here. There we go, and then it's on a hinge, and then plug this into the king. So, so when he's driving around, he's got the gun kind of wired in there. But you can take this is it'll be his rifle. You can take that out. Uh, there are little ramps here on the side, and you can have roller. Ki you can kind of display him rolling out. Obviously, he can't fit in there with the rifle on. And when you're putting this together, you can you can actually store him in here, uh, but he doesn't he, uh, he doesn't plug on anywhere in robot mode or or anything. He just uh, he just c carries the gun, or if Prime's holding the gun, he's just a little uh, six wheeled vehicle. Now you can open these up and lift these missiles up. Like I said, he doesn't fit because of all the stuff in there. You can't really wedge him all the way in and fold these up. But if you turn him sideways. Uh, because he's got this little cutout here and the, this little uh, this little sticky out thing here, you can kind of lay them in there sideways, fold this uh, ramp up to the side of the of the vehicle, and fold these down. So if you want to if you want to carry them around uh, there in vehicle mode, it is possible. Then you have to find a place for this gun, which does uh, kind of wedge in here behind the feet between the feet. But uh, yeah, but it, but it's not as secure as anything else. So. There's everything all stowed away on the vehicle mode. Although I do wish the gun sat either a little further up. Or I, I guess you, could, you might conceivably be able to turn that around when the missiles are up. But anyway. So there's that. Now, he is uh, Diaclone pilot compatible. Um, I don't have currently any standard Diaclone pilots. I do have a Waruda here. So just so you can get an idea of the scale of... Uh, these little diaclone minifigures to the uh, to the vehicle mode, and there's little things like this little panel can pop up. You can st have a soldier there manning those guns. Uh, these windows open up, and there's enough space and a little depth here. You could have a little dude kind of stand in there. Oh, maybe not. I thought there was a depth in there, 
but um, you know you, you can you can bring these panels out. You can have uh, on the back here, bring this down and around, and you could get a little diaclone guy in there, manning a turret. I'm not going to work too hard to make these things stand, but just to give you an idea, you could have a diaclone person. Uh, piloting roller here. There is space. Oh, he folded in half, but let's get the knees up. Well, there you go. There you go. Now he's sitting in there driving a roller. So, compatible with Diaclone pilots. Uh, excuse my little Warbrooder uh, stand in. But yeah, one, the first thing you notice when you get this thing out of the box is the heft. This guy is. There's a lot of die cast. All of these guns are die cast. And I'm pretty sure there's some in the robot itself because there's just a lot. This might be metal too. Just just a hefty, hefty uh, vehicle. The guns all can, ro or these guns can rotate, and lift up. These guns can raise up here. And you can fold that back down. This little spotlight can fold down as well. Some of it's for transformation, but you can, you can leave it down in vehicle mode as well. Yeah, the turrets rotate. I think these turrets also even come off. A lot of the stuff will pop off. Yeah, they're just on pegs. And uh, you can pop them off and swap them around to other parts of the robot, depending on how you want. The one drawback I have found is that some of these, uh, the, the, the guns, especially like here, you can see there's, they're hinged here, and they can swivel there at the body. And this is just on a peg down here that rotates. But metal gun, metal base, and then a plastic hinge here. So there's a few guns where they, um, I think over here is where it is, where you're starting to get a little bit of that metal on plastic. It's not super loose, but it's just slightly loose because of where they're rubbing. And, and, it, and it could conceivably uh, get worse over time. I haven't noticed anything like that, but it's there. These little pistons can come out. Uh, if you're using that for anything, you can extend uh, extend those. These are a little harder to get out back here, mostly because I haven't done it yet, but you can see those, those extend out like that. Um, rubber tires rolls really nicely. The guns, and again, these guns, you can pop around, you can move these missiles back here, you can move these guns up to the front, whatever you want to do. The missiles, now the missiles don't, uh, as it stands, come out of, of these launchers. Like, you can take these tubes off, and uh, I will say, when you first get this, Go ahead and if you have a small file, file the inside of this groove here because if you don't, then you can see it grips this tiny little uh, ridge inside the missile and they are very, very hard to get off. I had to get a, a spudger and kind of wedge it in here and slowly pry it up enough to where I could wiggle it off again. It's, it's very difficult uh, if you don't take that precaution. Now there is an upgrade kit and I do have one coming. Uh, and they make it for both the blue and red colors and this color as well. It comes with a new head and some missiles where the missiles can actually come out of this camo frame. Uh, this one does not do it. But the missiles can, you can set one up to launch. They can rotate forward uh, if you want in vehicle mode. They can stow back here. And that's about it for, for the large vehicle mode. Um, I think that's everything I thought of. Oh, he does actually have, if you want, uh, somebody's chasing him. He's got some guns. This is mostly for one of the battle station modes. You can actually deploy some guns from the feet slash rear of the vehicle there as well. So, long story short, he's got a lot of armaments on him. Then for the rifle, now that he's off a roller, you just take this and you can just take the little rubber bit and plug it back up in that hole for the rifle for the main robot mode. Now, to get transforming him... Uh, Got to start taking all this stuff off. So you kind of lift these up, lift these knee pads up a little bit, or, or you can just bend them at the at the knees here, which will release these from under this piece. And then you kind of lift up the missiles. You can see have a the whole missile assembly can lift up like that, and this tab pegs into here. And then you just kind of pull this forward and pull those tabs in the front out, and then this whole center assembly pops off. Uh, should at least at any rate. There we go. So you pull that all off. Now the first one of these I got, and I did say first again, uh, was missing this blue piece. 
um, which is just an extra crotch piece. Uh, so uh, rather than wait, I just got another one. And so now I have the blue crotch piece, but that does mean, and, and we'll show you what the difference with it on and off, because it's just for super mode, uh, what that looks like uh, when we get there. But it does mean I do have an extra one of these that's fully complete and honestly hasn't even been touched. I only open it to pop that piece off. Like, I didn't even take the vehicle mode apart. I just reached underneath, popped that off, end of story, done. Uh, so I have a brand new, fresh one of these things that uh, if you want to get for a decent discount, uh, hit me up because I'm probably going to let that one go. Anyway, you can, like, I mean, even just that, you can just pull that centerpiece off and have that stand alone by itself over here as like a little missile rack. Uh, because all the, the he has a super armor mode. But all of these bits can do different things. Like you could, you, there's some base mode stuff you can do with them as well. So once that's done, um, these pieces right here, you can do them together or split the legs and pop them apart that way. But just pop, um, I'll lift this up, lift the kneecaps up, and then uh, you can see uh, where the smaller feet are. You just want to pop that off and out. And kind of pop that off. There we go. The, the feet just kind of sitting there and pop that off and out and off to the side. And we'll do some base mode configurations with all of this stuff momentarily, but let's get to the core robot first. Now, there is a, um, when he comes packaged, uh, the legs are, actually, no, he actually, does he come with, no, he comes with the, uh, the centerpiece attached to him. He doesn't have the missile part on. He's, he's got some part that's not missing, that's not attached. But um, there is a smaller vehicle, quote, vehicle mode where you can uh, collapse the knees down here like this. If you take I mean, if you take all the other side apart, you know, side armor off, you can just have this cab part. This is supposed to be as like, I'm not towing my trailer cab version prime. And this is the core robot right here. So yeah, um, to transform them, like we just saw, you pop open these and bring those knees up and about, and then clamp them. Oh, nope. Get them back into place there so that tab goes through that slot. Flip up the heels like that. Flip up the toes like that. And unpeg them. And there's the legs mostly done. So we come up here on the upper body. And you want to get, take these pant, these side bits here. Go ahead and point these straight forward. Kind of open them up. You may have to lift them up a little bit, but pull these out and about to the side. Nope, there we go. There we go. Get those out. Untab this clear piece from this piece. You kind of want to fold that down, but not all the way down yet. We're not 100%. It's going to tab into that slot there, but not yet. Um, this actually needs to be lower down. Okay. So, yeah, get, get it like this. Pop that apart. Then these wheels, actually, you know, you got to pull, pull this piece out, kind of start folding this. And these wheels will start to rotate around. And we'll, as you rotate them around, they're also on a hinge here. So you want to bring that wheel up and around and tuck it all the way back up to the top. And when you're going back to vehicle mode, you can see there's a curved part cut out of his hip here. And when you're, so when you're in vehicle mode, you might not, if you don't fold this all the way down, you'll have like a gap there, but you just fold it up so that wheel kind of sits in that rounded groove and you'll know you're in the right place for vehicle mode. But yeah, bring these around, bring this up and around like that. Uh, pop this piece up, to free that up like that. So those should come around to the back. And then this is going to come, you fold it down like this, this tab right here is going to tab in. It helps if you kind of bring this back, actually before we do that, bring that back some, and then these waist pieces, make sure to bring these all the way out. They, they don't collapse all the way down. There is a, a you can see the kind of divot there, but make sure they make sure that they lined up straight with the silver that's there because they're on a double hinge and you want to make sure you have room for this ab piece to peg in. But getting the ab piece to peg in, lift this up and flip his head forward. And I found it kind of helps to lower this down kind of at an angle in here to get that tab in. 
and then you can fold, uh, lift this uh, chest panel up here. You can bring this down and lax that tab piece into place like that. The first couple times you do that, it's a little tight, but the more you do it, and you may need a spudger or something to pry this back up after the fact the first few times. But once you, like a lot of things, once you do that a couple of times, it, it stays tight, but loosens up so it's not so much of a pain. Then once that's done, this tab, kind of bring this piece down and push that tab into the abs. And once that's done, you'll see this now lines up properly. So this tab right here sits right in that slot there on his chest. It's hard to get it lined up perfectly until you get all this tabbed in right. Bring the arms down, bring his head forward a little bit. And uh, I don't know why sometimes this goes right in and sometimes it doesn't, but um, yeah, you wanna click that into place. Click, make sure that clicks and locks into place. It shouldn't be floppy, it, it does latch into place there. And then you can bring his head down in front of that clear plate like that. Can go ahead and turn him around at the waist here. And then extend his arms out like that. And rotate them around so the missiles are on the outside. Now the missiles are also die cast and again, they're one of the pieces you can pop off and swap around. But for right now, all you have to do is rotate it around so they're facing forward. Go ahead and pop his legs out to a little more natural pose. You open this up, I'll flip the hand out. And rotate it around and open up the fingers. The fingers are all, as you can see, individually posable. You got two joints at the thumb, wrist swivel, all that good stuff. Yeah. Get that out. And the gun does have a little slot there. Peg into his hand and wrap his hand around it. And there is the base form of the Rolling Thunder Optimus. And just to give you an idea of how big he is, here he is with uh, MP10. So he's slightly taller, but he's much broader and heavier than, uh, than or not MP10, MP44. Sorry about that. And just because they're green and military, uh, here he is with MP Hound. And now before we get into the, uh, the full-on super mode, I'm going to just, all these base parts can configure into, um, let me see if I can remember one of these by myself. I know you can do this and fold that down like that. And I guess just bring this down and around like, you can actually, this can actually open up some. There we go, like that. Plug it in like that. And bring this up and around and then do the same with the other foot and then see these can peg together like this kind of because they don't want to there's a there's a hinge here there's a I remember there was something weird about that it needed to pop up or pop down oh yeah there's a little tab in there that doesn't want to line up properly there we go. Flip out the little foot guns. Like that, and then it's something like, you just kind of rest this back here so the missiles are sticking up. It may have been, I can't remember. Yeah, something like that. I'm not sure exactly how they got some of this stuff to go together in the uh, in the uh, instructions they show you. Just set that back up there like that. Have these guns come forward. And again, plug these guns in here. You should do it like that too. Um, I mean, you can you can do it however you want. It's your it's your figure. But uh, come on, just stay together. Just long enough for me to do this. Bring these up, and then the 
I may have actually just literally been that. Pop this piece off. Pl yeah, but it was just plug this in like this. Put the ramps on either side. Oh, I mean, it may have been like that. Yeah, like that. Put the ramp on either side. And then you'd have... Uh, rotate that a little bit forward so it supports it a little better. I don't know. And then have roller run around. Something like that, but you can have... A little like you can have Prime standing behind like a little weapons emplacement. That's that was the weakest one, uh, and there's I mean they're they're both a little, it's a thing because we say so, but there's one where you know I'm not even gonna mess with it. You can see the pictures. But there's one where it's kind of like this comes up, and I think pegs together like th oh, no it pegs together like this. You got to fold these down and in, fold these down and in. And it's not just together like this. You gotta, it holds everything. To, it goes like this. The wheels face forward. Or maybe, no, the wheels don't face forward. But then the missiles come up. It's just a little standalone thing, and Prime can hold on to this, and it all comes together into a missile base. But really, it, it's, it's all a missile base because we say so. The fun part is turning them into the giant... Uh... Oh, okay, that does lock into place like that. Uh, the giant robot. So we'll go ahead and do the leg up like that. Lock that up like that. Rotate this around and snap this all the way up into place here. Pull those toes in. All right, I'll pull the heel back. So there's the feet. And then for Prime, pop the gun out of his hand for now. Fold these two guns straight back. And then fold in his fists. And when you fold in the fists, you want to fold in the fingertips first. And then fold that in and then just fold the thumb straight down around there. Rotate this around backwards. And then open this back up and fold it back into place. And then pull these missiles off Rot and rotate these guns forward. It'll all make sense here in a minute. Same here. Pull that off. All right. And go ahead and take, pull his feet back up like that. And then there's a peg right here that you're going to take each foot, just kind of slide that in there, slide it forward and in, and then down, and then peg that on, just like that. There's one foot, and then same over here, forward, in, peg it on, secured. And he's tall now, so we've got to back up some. These pieces separate. Fold this around. Actually, fold it around like that so the thing's all folded up. And then you want it so this piece is in the front, not, not the, the painted part, with this groove sitting lower than the back part. And then you see this tab right here on his arm. Just kind of slide it over. And that tab slides right into that groove here on the bottom of this piece. And that's how you know you've got it on the right side because the groove in the front should be sitting lower than the groove in the back. And that's why you need to, I mean, I guess you could conceive, no, you couldn't. I mean, they wouldn't sit all the way on. That's why you rotate that gun down and get it out of the way of that. And then the arm piece, you just fold the hand out. This little metal piece becomes kind of a back of the fist weapon. And then you just take this and put it on the arm and then fold this down and lock it. And somehow that is secure enough to hold that on to, uh, onto his forearm, and then you can take... Sometimes I will put the missiles down here on his legs and then move these guns up to the forearm, but again, it's, it's up to you. Uh, and then put the missiles on this forearm right here. And then do the same on this side. Put his thumb up. Lock it on. Missiles. 
Uh, these hands, I think these hands, I'm not even sure if these are even different hands. They look bigger because of this piece, but I think the hands themselves may be the same. But the same thing, you can put the gun in his hand. And then this piece right here, you can have these sit kind of, I mean, you have to, you have to widen these out. These pieces will widen out uh, here. Uh, there's a double hinge to widen the backpack out like that, and like that. And then you can have these sit down on his back. You can kind of leave them sitting back anyway, but um, if you have the missiles on, and you don't have to, you can you can take, we'll, we'll show you some, some couple different missile configurations. Um, you need to have them cleared out because this little gap right here is where these guns stick through, and if you don't have that, then you're done. But this just pegs, and this is probably the weakest part of, and, and, we're, and we're talking minor stuff here, the weakest part of this to me is because it's only these two tabs that hold this whole backpack on, and for when it's posed and standing there, it's totally fine. But if you want to uh, move the missiles at all because of the ratchets, you do need to make sure you're holding this or take it off and position the missiles separately because it does tend to pull it out of the back of the robot. We just plug that on like that. And there is Power Prime, with the one exception, the one piece that was missing on my first one. But, I think, but that looks really cool. It's, it's not super different, really nice looking, op, awesome Optimus Prime. And the piece that was missing, this right here, um, just plugs in right here, because of course, now that he's super robot, he has to have a longer crotch, which is uh, not going on there properly. There we go, like that. I don't find that that, I mean, like, I, I wanted to have the piece. I felt it's important. And then now that it's here, like I don't know that it adds anything to the robot. I'm happy to have it complete. But uh, how I feel about this robot didn't really change because it suddenly had a longer crotch. So, up to you. Like I said, I do now have one without that piece, so if you are happy with how it looks um, like that, hit me up. We can work something out. Anyway, let me put this back on. The missiles can be positioned around. You can uh, put this back on, plug it on. You still got all the range, good range of motion that he had before. He's got, okay, so that will knock the backpack off if you do that too far either because of this bit. But he's got a full range of motion of the shoulders, bicep swivel, dual hinged elbows, the fully posable fingers. He does have a wrist swivel here as well, but it's a, does he? Yeah, I think he does. It's a little hindered by the, um, it's a little tighter than the other one and it's hindered by the, uh, the metal piece there. He's got a ratchet swivel. He does have an ab crunch, like a very significant ab crunch, so you can get him in some cool poses. Um, ratcheting hips in two directions, knees, ankle tilt. You can do some crazy uh, range of motion stuff with him. Uh, waist swivel. Dual hinge knee, the toes, and the heel, and the ankle tilt. So yeah, some really cool stuff uh, going on here with this guy. Uh, we haven't gotten, we didn't get into the cool stuff we can do with the missiles, which we'll do uh, now. So let me get him standing normal again. Heels down helps. There we go. Now the missiles, like I said, you can bring them up over his shoulders if you want. One at a time or both at a time. And again, that's what I'm talking about with the... Uh... So yeah. You can bring them up like that. They also can, like I said, you can... Uh... Because they can come off of the post they're on, which is just a big green, big green circular cylinder there. Let's see if I can do it. Um, you can you can bring the this these pieces in. Uh, come on, 
for me, the double hinges, it's going to be hard to get moving. And you can just kind of fold just those up behind his head. Uh, you can put these however you want. Um, and when you do that, you still have that opening for the gun. So this smaller backpack can sit right here. Um, come on. Now maybe you need to have that up just a smidge to fit over that hump. Oh, actually, no, like that. And then if you fold that down, that'll actually hold the backpack on a little tighter. Although I wish there were some slots to hold to really latch those in place. But you can have those sit like that. And there's a couple slots on the missiles. So you can, and there's a tab here. You can have it, you could have a missile sitting low like this on either side. Um, here. There we go. Or you can use the lower tab here and have a missile sitting higher up on either side. I'll show you what that is. That looks like. So yeah, you can have them sitting like that on the robot as well. Now, one of the things that I already had to rub off some paint, and so I don't want to, I don't want to do it again, is you can take one of these missiles, and you can, uh, I'm not gonna, you, you can push it. Actually, okay, now that I've thought that out, you can give him a missile, a missile on the end of his rifle. It it does tend to, as you can see rub off some of the paint from inside the missile onto the rifle, but it's not damaging to the rifle. It's just some paint rub. And uh, while it takes a little effort, you can just take a standard uh, number two pencil eraser is what I have found works really well and just kind of erase that paint off. It's a little bit of a pain, but if you want to, if you want to have him shoot a missile off of his gun, uh, there you go. But there is, and again, real quick, let's get him uh, all supered up with uh, some comparisons. Again, here he is with MP44, and here he is with MP Hound. But yeah, a really nice, it's, it's a lot of fun. He's very hefty. It's nicely designed. He's nicely posable. Everything feels solid in hand. Um, and uh, really, really cool. Really looking forward to the Megatron to go with him. And, uh, and a really nice uh, Rolling Thunder vehicle mode. Like, even the vehicle mode is neat and fun to roll around. And, uh, as I said, very hefty. But there is TFC Toys ST Commander Jungle version. And looking forward to that Megatron.